Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice for radio, so today I'm going to be showing you Netball, a very nice item, which is for grass Pokemon, which is coming out in the Fairy Rise expansion of the Pokemon trading card game shortly in Japan. Now, we don't actually know how we're getting Fairy Rise outside of Japan. My guess is a mini set a la Dragon Majesty. Some people have pointed out, hang on a second, two mini sets in quick succession. That would be strange. Yeah, it would. You're absolutely right. But then again, Japan is used to having a mini set between each main set. So for Japan, having two of them in quick succession twice was weird. And yet it happened anyway. So I, I feel like we're going to be getting a mini set and there will be a gloating video if and when I am deemed to be correct. Now, earlier on today, we did have to use a translation from somebody else. David Hockman was in an exam and I'm sure he wouldn't mind some wow wishes in the comments. The good news is David is out of that exam and giving us a translation for Netball. And what it does is it allows you to search for any basic grass Pokemon or basic grass energy and put it into your hand. And as far as I'm concerned, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a very, very good card indeed. And I know that because Dive Ball was a good card. Now, I know that Dive Ball let you search for any water Pokemon and Netball only allows you to search for a basic grass Pokemon. But OK, how about Level Ball? which only let you search for basics with 90 HP or less. That saw an awful lot of play. I feel incredibly confident that as long as we see some grass decks running around, and we should, this will see a lot of play. Now, in terms of searching for energy here, you might look at this and go, hang on a second, we'll see. It's worse than Professor's Letter, and you would be absolutely correct. Professor's Letter lets you search for any two basic energy. Which means you can play a variety of basic energy and search out the one you want using Professor's Letter. It means you can search out multiple basic energy in one go. And let's not forget that sometimes you're playing a deck like Magnazone, for instance, whereby searching out two means you can attach two right away, and that's really good. No arguments that Professor's Letter is infinitely better as an energy searching card. And heck, while we're here, how about Energy Search? Energy Search lets you search for any basic energy. And also, right, when, when did this rotate? I mean, I actually know the answer to that. It's very easy to look up. But I was genuinely under the impression that this was still in the format, just nobody was playing it because of Professor's Letter. It's one of those cards like Switch that's just always in the format. I was surprised to find this wasn't in the format. Although we had Professor's Letter, so maybe we'll get a reprint of this soon, given that Professor's Letter's gone away. Here's the thing. It doesn't have to be good energy search. This is nothing but an ancillary benefit. This is an, oh, I, I happen to already have all my grass Pokemon, but I happen to be missing an energy... Let's go search for it kind of thing. This is awesome, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely awesome. An ancillary benefit to be sure, but a nice one. Now, let's talk about the Pokemon searching thing. It gets your basic grass Pokemon. And let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, we are heading into a post-Bridget world. Thing is, we've been using Bridget Turn 1 for quite some time, ever since Tapu Lele was released. We've been doing turn one, wonder tag, grab a Bridget, get your basics out. And now with that going away, we're going to need to get our basics out. And one of the things that I and a lot of other people have suggested is that maybe, just maybe, we need to end up playing more ball cards. Well, this is going to be one of the ones you chuck in straight away if you're playing grass Pokemon. Like I said, Dive Ball was a great, great card in Greninja decks. But then again, Greninja was only playing Water Pokemon. It would play Greninja, and it would play Starmie, and yeah, that, that was basically it. They, they were the Pokemon that it played. So in that respect, Dive Ball was really good. There was a reason why Dive Ball was so good in Greninja decks. Oh, they also played Octillery, of course. And the reason it was so good, no Tapu Lele. 
Know any Pokemon that weren't water. So we're going to need a grass deck that is not playing any grass Pokemon to really make the most of this. And at this stage, I should probably reintroduce you to the Vespaquen card that we looked at earlier on today. You see, that allows you to do 120 for a single basic energy, and we know that's good, because it was good when Golisopod did it. The only caveat is... You must have five grass Pokemon on your bench in order to do it. And to answer some questions from earlier today, it is five grass Pokemon, not a full bench. So if you're playing Skyfield in Expanded, then you can afford to have some non-grass on the bench, free to be precise. And if your opponent plays a Parallel City or indeed a Sudo Wudu, then they will essentially block you from ever attacking with this because you won't be able to have five grass Pokemon on the bench. But if you're playing a Vespaquen deck, this is an absolute no-brainer. Now, you're still going to need to play stuff like Ultra Ball to go and search out those evolutions. But, yeah, just go grab yourself a Netball and then go nuts because then you can get all of your basics out. We haven't had universal Pokemon search, i.e. you can search for anything, since Master Ball, which was so good that it was an ace spec. We've all been using Ultra Ball for a long time now, even though that makes you discard two cards from your hand. Psychic and Dragon decks are delighted to have Mysterious Treasure because it lets them search for any Dragon or Psychic Pokemon and they only have to discard one card from their deck. So early game, being able to search out your Grass Pokemon with no downside... And okay, it's got to be basics, but early game and in recovery, that's fine, that's what you want... I mean, this is phenomenal. Of course it's going to see play. It doesn't matter that it's type specific. Dive Ball was type specific. Mysterious Treasure was type specific. SP Radar could only get you SP Pokemon. Level Ball could only get you Pokemon with 90 HP or below. And I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, all of them saw play. The thing is... They were generally support cards. So you would see Dive Ball in Greninja decks because it only played water Pokemon. And although it saw play in other decks, it would be in much smaller numbers. Level Ball, if you were playing something like Vespaquen, for instance, would be amazing. But outside of that, eh. Speaking of which, if you want to play the new Vespaquen and Expanded with Skyfield, do remember the old Vespaquen is still a much better card. So it's likely that unless we get a completely grass deck, this is going to be doomed to be a support card which sits there and helps out in addition to stuff like Ultra Ball. Like I've said, the new Vespaquen's fine. It can't play any non-grass Pokemon. Because even if you play one Tapu Lele, you might start with it and then you can't attack with Vespaquen all game. All which would suck. But even outside of that, if you're playing any deck with a high grass presence, this is going to fit into your deck. We don't have Bridget anymore. We can only put four Ultra Ball in our deck. People are immediately going to run and play Net Ball here. And hang on a second, doesn't that sound like Nest Ball? And wouldn't Nest Ball be better? Nest Ball gets you any basic. Well, yes. But Nest Ball goes to the bench rather than to your hand. And I know we don't have any good coming into play abilities on grass Pokemon at the moment, but imagine Shaman from Unleashed. Now, I know we don't have that right now, but it's a grass Pokemon with a great coming into play ability, so I'm totally rolling with it. Imagine if you had to play that straight to the bench, that would be super, super sad. Plus, this can get you energy, so yes, you can play Nest Ball, but this is still going to see a lot of play. Now, maybe we never see grass decks seeing any play, in which case, okay, fine. This won't see any play. But I feel fairly confident that people are going to try Vespaquen. This is a great card. I feel fairly confident that grass decks are going to be played. And when they are, this will be played. Look, Dive Ball was a good card. Level Ball was a good card. Nest Ball was a good card. Mysterious Treasure is a good card. All of these... Pokemon search items see play in the right decks. 
This is no different. I'm going to give it between four and five wassies. We don't give half wassies. That would be barbaric. I don't think it's quite a five wassie card. When I initially read it, I thought it was any grass Pokemon and it was a slam dunk five wassy card as it is i think it's an exceptional card and some decks won't want to play it some decks will play nest ball instead but some decks will play this and i expected to see playing a whole bunch of decks so it's getting between four and five wassies but if you disagree with me ladies and gentlemen well wonderful fantabulous news there's a comment section so go nuts but you know be nice make sure you like this video subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter at the wassy and twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all of that head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that but by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time thank you very much for watching my name is ross and you've been watching ptcg radio